Bernie Sanders was on Conan O'Brien's show, and he was asked about some of Donald Trump's more crazier tweets, and I wanted to share his opinions because I think that Bernie Sanders really decoded Donald Trump's tweets in a really meaningful way that's important. Uh, so when it comes to this tweet, in addition to winning the Electoral College in a landslide, which is untrue, I won the popular vote if you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally. Now, Bernie Sanders had this to say about that tweet. I'll tell you what my take is. First of all, it's delusional. It's totally insane. Nobody believes that who studies elections or election patterns. But number two, this is what is scary about it. When he says that, he's really sending a signal to Republicans all over this country, Republican leaders. And what he's saying is, we have got to suppress the vote. We have got to make it harder for poor people, people of color, immigrants, and elderly people to participate because they may be against us. And that's scary stuff. My own view is we have got to work overtime to bring more people into the political process, not make it harder for people to participate. But that's really what he's saying. Everything that Bernie Sanders said is 100% true. Uh, what Republicans always do is they try to create this problem and then apply a solution to it that ends up screwing up the country. I mean, voting is just one of many. For example, Social Security, they'll say, well, Social Security is going bankrupt, so we have to do something now. We have to act now. Uh, and if we don't, it's going to be destroyed. So the best thing we can do is privatize it. Now they're doing this about voting. They'll say, look, so many people are committing voter fraud that uh, we have to do something. We have to act quickly and we have to try to suppress the vote more. But that's factually inaccurate. I study elections and electoral patterns. And no, voter fraud is not a thing that is prevalent in the United States of America. And in fact, the two instances uh, that are documented of voter fraud were voter fraud that helped Donald Trump during this election. So that's bullshit. Now, another thing uh, that I do think Bernie Sanders didn't consider is Donald Trump's ego. I think that's part of it. Donald Trump hates the fact that he won the election without winning the popular vote. It probably eats away at him. That technically more Americans wanted Hillary Clinton to be president uh, than him. And technically more Americans, when you factor in Gary Johnson, Jill Stein, and Clinton's voters, voted against Donald Trump. And that probably kills him because this guy is an egomaniac. So I think that's also a part of it. Now, another tweet here. Nobody should be allowed to burn the American flag. If they do, there must be consequences. Perhaps loss of citizenship or a year in jail. Now, this was Bernie's response. Two responses to that. We have massive income and wealth inequality, 43 million people living in poverty. We have to deal with climate change, which is threatening the existence of the planet. And he's talking about three people who might burn the American flag. But the second point there, there's a hidden message in that. And that is, be careful if you are prepared to dissent. Now, the Supreme Court has said that's within the constitutional framework. That's a form of expression. But what he's really saying is, if you want to dissent, be careful. It's not just the American flag here. We're watching you. That's what's scary about that. So I, I agree again with Bernie Sanders here. This really is about dissent for Donald Trump because I think that he really does have authoritarian tendencies. He doesn't want people to question his legitimacy. He doesn't want people to disagree with him and present facts to dispute his absurd claims. So he's trying to shut down freedom of speech, even though he claims to be in favor of it because he's against, you know, political correctness. But really, all he is is a right wing social justice warrior, as my buddy Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk says all the time. So Donald Trump is a dangerous figure. And look, to be fair, this is something that Hillary Clinton also proposed. So maybe it's the case. There's a small sliver of a possibility that he's trying to put this forward and see how the media reacts. And we'll say, well, look, uh, Hillary Clinton proposed it. Why aren't you going after her? Is it because you like Hillary Clinton more? I think that is possible. But at the same time, I do really believe that Donald Trump uh, thinks that people should be penalized for freedom of speech. Again, it's a piece of material. This is a flag we're talking about here. If you think somebody should lose their freedom or citizenship because of their wanting to protest, which is what this country was founded on, uh, you know, the First Amendment, it's the First Amendment because it's pretty important. We decided to put that ahead of all the other ones. If you decide to violate the Constitution because you don't like when people disagree with you, tough shit because we are going to do that and we're going to do it vocally. So I think uh, Bernie Sanders, what he's saying here is really important. And I'm glad that someone has, uh, <laughs> has the spine to speak out against Donald Trump and really decode what he means. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.